and he went off in a, in a setting. Uh, this grove that we're, we're near here, I was walking there yesterday, and I, I tried praying in it too. And I realized uh, maybe it was partly because of the weather, it was so cold, nobody else was there, so I was able to be alone. And uh, I knelt down and, uh, and, uh, and asked uh, if I could feel again that this really was the place that the Father and the Son appeared, and uh, got a sweet assurance that it was true. What's interesting is the two of them, the way they work together, Heavenly Father, this is my beloved Son, and hear Him. And then uh, uh, so the fact that uh, the Father and the Son are one in heart uh, and love each other, I, I, that's a wonderful, for me anyway, one of the great things that, that when I think of the first vision. I agree. Can I was quiet inside. I really reached the point <laughs> where I said, uh, you know, I, I've got a choice to make here. I have to do something. I, 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 I'm not wise enough. I have, no, I give up. I'll do whatever you want. Tell me. <laughs> and th whenever that has come as an answer, has always been when I was so quiet in my, in my, I just had a feeling of complete quiet inside of saying, I, 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 I give up. I just want what you want. And then, and then I could hear it. Uh, and I realized that if I had been noisy in terms of my own thinking, or uh, then I couldn't have. But yeah, there's a kind of a coming to a point where you said, "Father, Thy will be done. I'll, I'll do what You want. I can't go without You." And then uh, you get an answer. Yeah. In fact, what he and I were both praying about before this thing began is to say, "Help us <laughs> to say something, so that at least some people out there might." Uh, uh, have confidence that if they can just really truly feel thy will be done, that's all I want. If they can just feel that, that's uh, the, the quietness has to be almost look, I, I'll do anything you want. Uh, yeah. and, and then when that comes, you can get answers. And I, I think of the, the father of the prodigal son <laughs> who, when he was returning, he, he rushed out to meet, to meet him. And so what you could tell is even though the the, the boy had been far away and uh, uh, seemingly lost, and uh, but uh, the father had never stopped loving yeah, him. Exactly. And my guess is uh, that's the advice we give uh, to these people and to all of us who are struggling one way or another is that the Lord, uh, as, as they said, in the, he came to himself, you see. <laughs> we, nobody else did it, but he said, wait a minute. Uh, Things are, things are good at home compared to where I am now. Uh, I think I'll go back. And uh, I, I, I think the feeling that, it, that his father continued to love him was probably the best example we can, we can imagine. I agree. Yeah. I've had the experience of doing, when it's done that way, of uh, giving a blessing to a little girl. The doctors were saying, get out of the hospital room. She's going to die. And, and uh, <laughs> my companion, I, put hands on her head, and, but we prepared carefully, and uh, I, I, I sealed the anointing, yep. and I said, she'll live, yep. and the doctors were disgusted, and they walked away, and she did live. I was told she'll walk, yep. and the last Sunday I was in that city, that little girl walked <laughs> down, down the aisle, and I'm absolutely convinced. Uh, uh, if we will prepare yeah. and and uh, and really see ourselves as as coming to the throne of God, uh, then remarkable things can come. Uh, there's a beautiful way of thinking of that: that God is real; He's in a throne. And uh, when I when I uh, approach uh, in prayer, I'm approaching a throne, uh, and uh, it's uh, the way you do that is different than if you just say I'm. I'd like a chat. <laughs> uh, I, you know, I, I want a conversation. Uh, it's, it's approaching a throne. Uh, and then here's this patriarch saying, you'll have, a <laughs> you'll have a family someday. And it will, this is a description of what will be in that family. Uh, and uh, so I'll tell you, the way to look at a patriarchal blessing, my suggestion is, uh, uh, Look, it may it may be kind of tough. There was a guy in the in the in there at, at Harvard who was 
who actually told people, I'm going to get that girl, or I'll get her faith. <laughs> and uh, and I'm, t I'm telling you, a patriarchal blessing, uh, it, I would take it very, very seriously in, in this fancy place. And, and the president of the university, not a member of the church, said, uh, we all, <laughs> we may not all have been in the meeting where Elder Iring spoke, but I want to tell you, we didn't hear Elder Iring. We heard the voice of God. <laughs> okay. And uh, what I'm telling you is uh, there is a way, there is a way the Lord will help you to be able to be bold in the sense of declaring what you know in such a way that you won't, you won't convert everyone, but at least the good people will see that there's goodness in what you've testified of. If you bear your testimony in the way the Lord gives you the power to do, it'll resonate with them to some degree, enough that the president of the university said, we didn't hear Elder Iring, we heard the voice, <laughs> the voice of, of God. And uh, I can't promise you that kind of a miracle all the time, but it, I, I'm not purged of every, every temptation or taken care of, but I'll tell you this, I'm better than I ever was. I can just feel uh, a little more meek, a little more loving, and I know where that comes from. Every time I take the sacrament, I, I try a little experiment, is uh, I try to repent before I do it, and, uh, and uh, listen to those words that says that, that he, may, he may have his spirit to be with him, and, uh, and pray that I may feel that, and it uh, doesn't happen every time. That I, that's why these missionaries are getting better, <laughs> is they're out there preaching the gospel in faith in Jesus Christ, and pleading to have the Holy Ghost with them to do the work. And in the process, the atonement is working in their lives. Thank you. To try reviewing things that you've done that were right, where you actually felt <laughs> that Heavenly Father and the Savior were pleased. And uh, if you'll do that, you'll notice something. Not only will you be repentant, uh, because there are things you need to change, but you'll have hope and you were one of the valiant ones. A lot of people didn't make it here. You made it here. You found the gospel of Jesus Christ. <laughs> You're very special, and he has great confidence. Heavenly Father and the Savior, they have confidence in you, and you need to have confidence in yourself. Of all the blessings that came from the, the restoration, nothing is quite like uh, what he let us know that there is a, a sealing power. And, and Joseph said he thought he was going to be destroyed. He said this was not an imaginary ruin, but the actual being from an unseen yeah. world. He thought he was going to be destroyed. But he said, exerting all my power, exerting all my power, I called upon God. What the adversary doesn't want him to do and doesn't want you to do is to pray. Don't say those words. And Joseph was determined to say them.